I'm Deborah Borchardt, and welcome to Psychedelics. This is the recap of the top psychedelic industry news for the week ending February 5th. Cybin Inc. closed its previously announced bought deal that issued over 15 million units of the company at a price of $2.25 in Canadian for aggregate gross proceeds of $34 million in Canadian. Delic Corp. signed a binding agreement to acquire ketamine infusion centers, which owns and operates two ketamine infusion treatment clinics, one in Phoenix, Arizona, and one in Bakersfield, California. In the last three years, the company has generated over $1.5 million in revenue. Algeron Pharmaceuticals says it is going to pursue DMT for treatment of strokes in humans and is planning clinical trials this year. The company said it is motivated by the results of a 2020 preclinical study where rats treated with DMT recovered more quickly and exhibited better neural growth of brain cells. And in legislative news, the campaign to decriminalize Nature DC said that the Initiative 81, the Entheogenic Plant and Fungus Policy Act of 2020, has been transmitted to Congress and the projected law date is March 19th. 2021. Initiative 81 reforms police priorities to help ensure that D.C. residents benefiting from natural psychedelics known as entheogens are not police targets. Initiative 81 passed with support from more than 76% of D.C. voters in November. And in Australia, the TGA announced its interim decision not to amend the current poison standard in relation to the use of psilocybin and MDMA as part of therapy to treat patients suffering from treatment-resistant mental illnesses like depression and PTSD. MindMed Australia says it's going to contest the decision not to reschedule psilocybin and MDMA for medical use as part of therapy for key mental illnesses. And that's it for this week. Psychedelics is brought to you by The Green Market Report.